harmful to living organisms dependent on that part of water pollution. Water pollution. Oil spillage at the sea showing water birds are trapped in the oil. In controlling water pollution, apart from enforcing and providing for heavy penalties, there is also proper treatment and disposal of domestic and industrial effluents before discharge. Play the video to view industrial effluent treatment ponds and the raw sewage treatment ponds. And we have an automatic rake which uses sensor, like now it has, it has sensed, and it will remove the suspended materials from here to the, uh, to the trailer. Soil pollution. The other type of pollution is soil pollution, which is the release of chemicals or solids that accumulate to levels that cause harm to soil organisms. The causes include petroleum products spilled on land 
when oil tankers are involved in an accident, then household wastes and industrial wastes, which are non-biodegradable, for example, rubber, plastic containers, scrap metals, and glass bottles. The control of soil pollution involves recycling of plastic, glass, and metal. Human diseases. A disease is a condition in which the body cells, tissues, organs, or the entire organism's body is affected and therefore normal function is impaired or not carried out normally. In human beings, diseases can be caused by the following. Bacteria, virus, protozoa, fungi, nutritional deficiencies, and genetic disorders. A pathogen is an organism that causes impairment of the normal body function. In this subtopic, we shall consider bacterial diseases, protozoan diseases, and parasitic worms. Bacterial diseases. These are diseases caused by bacteria. Examples include cholera and typhoid. The bacteria are spread by houseflies and through eating contaminated food. The diseases spread easily after the initial infection to cause an epidemic. The video shows individuals with cholera and typhoid symptoms such as abdominal pains, diarrhea,ing and vomiting. <laughs> Cholera. Cause. Cholera is caused by a bacterium called Vibrio cholerae, which thrives in infected water. The diagram shows Vibrio cholerae bacterium. The bacterium is transmitted through coming into contact with contaminated food. The disease is spread easily after the initial infection to cause an epidemic. Symptoms. They appear between one to six days after infection, depending on the health of a person. The bacteria secretes enzyme mucinase, which digests the inner lining of the intestines. Exposed wall of the intestine becomes irritated and damaged by the toxins produced by the bacteria. Abdominal pains, violent diarrhea and vomiting, and dehydration. The animation shows the process of infection and symptoms of cholera. Prevention and treatment. Proper disposal of feces to prevent contamination of water. Pit latrine should be deep and kept clean. Boiling drinking water or chlorinating it. Wash hands after visiting the latrine. Oral rehydration should be administered. Isolate infected persons. Typhoid. Cause. It is caused by a bacterium called Salmonella typhi. The diagram below shows a bacterium, Salmonella typhi. Poor disposal of urine and feces may cause contamination of the water supply from rivers, dams, and lakes. Healthy individuals can be infected by taking contaminated food or water.
symptoms. Its incubation lasts for about two weeks, after which a fever and rash develop, followed by severe diarrhea leading to dehydration. The bacteria attacks walls of the intestine and cause patches of sores. In severe attacks, the sores may burst and cause perforation in the intestine. Prevention and treatment. There should be proper sewage disposal. There should also be proper sewage treatment. Boiling drinking water or chlorinating it. Proper handling of food. There should also be regular medical checking for all food handlers. Vaccination of healthy people with weakened typhoid bacteria. Treatment involves administering antibiotics. Protozoan diseases. Examples of diseases are malaria and amoebic dysentery. Malaria. Malaria is caused by a protozoan parasite of the genus Plasmodium, which are of four different species: Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale, Plasmodium falciparum, and Plasmodium malariae. The photograph shows a Plasmodium. The parasite is transmitted from one infected person to a healthy person by a female Anopheles mosquito. The photograph shows an Anopheles mosquito. Steps of infection. Mosquito bites an infected person and sucks blood. Plasmodium develops into an infective stage. Same mosquito bites a healthy person and passes the parasite from its salivary glands into the bloodstream. Plasmodium migrates to liver cells and multiplies. Plasmodium leaves liver cells and back into bloodstream when they start destroying the red blood cells. The animation shows the process of infection of a healthy person by malaria. Click on the play button to view the animation. Symptoms, high regular fevers, lack of appetite, profuse sweating, vomiting, headaches, muscle and joint pain, enlargement of liver and spleen, and convulsions. Prevention and treatment, vaccination, use of treated bed nets, use of mosquito repellents, spraying of their dwelling places, for example, stagnant water using insecticides. Draining stagnant water and clearance of vegetation near homes. Empty containers, for example, tins, polythene papers should be destroyed to avoid stagnant water, which is a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Use fish in ponds to feed on mosquito larvae. Use of sterilized male mosquitoes to mate the females, reducing the mosquitoes in number. Taking of anti-malarial drugs when traveling to malaria-prone areas. Proper diagnosis through a laboratory test, administering a full dosage of the malaria drugs. Use natural pyrethroids in mosquito control.